hey guys welcome back to another video so in the previous video i have shown like how you can create a make a one header and i have shown the alignment as well so apart from this one to, so today i'm going to show you usually how you can use a table and how you can read the data from the excel okay so this is the table which i have made it with the help of uh, prime ng icon and here is the header which we have so let's come to here in the code if i'll open the html so here we can see uh, we are using a p table right with the ng uh, template and if i'll go down we having a p sortable column and that is the p table right so first of all what we have to do here is there is some things you have to do before applying this code so first you have to install i will go inside the app dot module first you have to install a prime ng okay once you have installed a prime ng just i will show you the command okay this is the one uh, one you have to install based on your angular version if you'll go here let me go to the ang package.json here we can see we having a angular of 15 15.2 right so based on that i have used a icon ng prime icon is uh, yeah ng uh, prime ng is 15.2 and icon is 16.0 0.1 right so these two you have to install after installing these two just go inside you create one folder and inside this prime ng table you have to import all these things okay so these are the things you have to import like how you made for the angular to support everything based on the angular material right similarly you have to make for the prime ng module okay once you have inserted these okay once you have done all the table module input buttons and everything okay so that need to be support once you will create this folder module come to app dot module import the table module and prime ng module okay once you will import this so your look and feel will come like this so one what you have to do here is go any html page and insert this p table and insert some value leave this apart from this value it's not matter how you want the data it is the secondary part right so first you you have to check whether your table is getting imported or not based on your prime ng so if i'll go here in the style.css i have imported prime ng resource and icons as well to support okay so these are the basic if you already done this configuration only you want to learn how you can bind the data into the table so that is the also uh, that is the part i will explain that one as well so once you have done these things you have to check in the angular.json as well whether uh, this is got imported if you have not got imported you have to do this manually okay once you have done this so still here you can see uh, the look and feel is not proper that need to be done some of the customization text is not from the uh, prime ng okay that need to be done so i have uh, not done in this one so i will do later on okay so first come here so after doing this one what you have to do to create a table so here you have to make as a p table inside this one value you have to pass if you have a value from where you are getting a value so if i'll go here what is my final excel data so here i'm assigning the data to the final excel so we i will have every data here right so i will get in the value so that i am going to bind up so here we having a, a style class and rows so whatever the rows you want so here you can see in the five we have but it is not look like as a proper paginator you want or not so these are the options how many page you want auto layout and something so etc similarly these are the headers which i kept okay here you can 
want to as a uh, you want a sorting or filter icon here i have added sorting and filter icon here you can see right so these are the part where you can add in the p table so now the part is coming once the data is getting uh, uploaded so how you are going to bind in the table so here you can see now we having a this table right with the empty data uh, as of now i don't have a data that's why this p uh, this pagination is coming in the top okay so now just i will show you one example then i will come to the next part so now once i uploaded this excel here you can see all the data is got inserted and this alignment so this look and feel is not much more now so if you want to see for example to understand actual how it will be so once i will come to this one here i have a upload excel right so here you can see the pagination sorting everything is looks different right so i am talking about this one so for example now once i will upload this excel so here you can see how it looks like right i am talking about this one so that i will do once i will do the ag grid so that uh, will get changed and few things i have to do so as of now i will go through this one again so you can see the differences right see the same logic same code same everything okay just what i'm trying to do here is how you can implement it okay so now come here so once i will go to the code here uh, these are the part where we are going to find out so now come to the uh, excel reading part how you can read the data from the excel i will try to exp uh, explain so here we having a two part right browse options what basis we are making as a true and false here we having a two condition okay if file is got selected so this uh, these values download excel if i'll go here as of now download is not there right so i i will refresh it again now you can see this download is there so by default which excel you want to make as a upload so this condition i have made it and here in this location my excel is there okay so now you come to the part input in the input what we are trying to show as a browse right so here you can see as a browse when it is false condition okay so once it once we are clicking on change on browse excel so here you can see which method we are calling here browse excel this one right so once we are uploading here okay once you are going to browse it so it's gonna be read from here so let's come here and see what i am checking here if event so based on the event we are trying to find out right so once the excel is got uploaded in the browser so that button click we will have a event in that event we will have a file data okay so here we will get the file name with the help of file name we can check it out whether which excel they are uploading and name also i can check it out i did for my case if you don't want you can eliminate this condition if condition and then i am trying to read the file reader with the help of file reader and if you will see here i have done from the xlx uh, format so if you have not installed you have to install that one as well okay so once you have installed this one so now we'll come to the file reader so here we are reading the file and leave this condition if you don't want this one i did to read out the excel if you have a much data to you can check it out what condition it is getting over here while reading your excel so reader is unload once it is it will get lo uh, load completely so here we will get all the files right so for example if you will see in the excel we will having a multiple sheets right so in that sheet which sheet you want to read whether you want to read multiple or you want only one so based on that you can assign the uh, sheet name uh, number not name number you can assign so here you can see so let me come here 
I am trying to explain here what is happening. Let me put a debugger first. So now, if you will see in the file what we have. In the file we having a this much of detail, okay? Correct? So from this file, I am checking this if condition, if it is include, then we are going for the read. So after read, what value you will get? This file we are going to read. So now it will go for the next. Wait a moment. Let me put a debugger for the next line, else it will get completed. So after coming to this one, now it will go for the, this, uh, once it is get load. So now here we are see the data, right? So here you can see all the data we are getting. So these are the internally happening. So now we will go for the, uh, what we can tell, worksheet. So we will have a data and we will get the everything even though if you want the username you can find out right here you can see all the data we are finding right so once you are going to see here which excel I, I told seat number one the seat number one here you can see right so the worksheet is came in this format a1 a4 whatever the size you want so once it will go for read so we are se setting the range now we will have the row index so based on the index we will have a many values right so once it will get executed now in, uh, encoder encoding will happen for the sales so now we will have a one sale similarly it will continue for the multiple rows so for example now address is a3 sale we will have right so in this one what is the a3 size so then we are defining the sale value over here so once it will come here Now here you can see the first name colon name is got read and the second is we are getting the data over here. So for example the column will have a data right for example first name first name will have a multiple data. So now if I see here okay leave that one. So one column may have a multiple data so in the first name here we can see these are the data. Those are the duplicate but those are the data entry in the excel similarly now it will go for the second column so now the column name is last name so once it is the last name it will go for the next email address here you can see these are the email address so once it is got completed we are pushing the data if i'll go down i think i have not kept a debugger here we are passing so if i'll go to the console see here we are having a these data okay these are the okay this is the different one different data these are the column data okay so if i'll open these are the four header name which i kept serial number in the inside the serial number i have a data one two three four five if i'll open the first name these are the data which i have in the excel the last name here you can see right so these are the entry which i uh, made it so accordingly that i am going to bind the data so this is not a much more complicated instead of saving the data in the backend so we are doing in the ui side so you can do into the backend as well to check the data to save it but this is the part where we are doing in the ui side itself right so this is how you can read the data from the excel and this is how you can bind the data in the p table if you want so this is how so so again i am saying so you have to do a proper configuration once you have done so you can bind the data properly 
so here i have trying to explain two way one is the excel reading part and second one is the how you can do a uh, table and how you can bind the data to the table okay so i have a many functionalities okay so one by one i will go for it so first of all this is done so now i will go for the next one so subscribe my channel to be as up to date so you should not miss miss it anything anything so what i will do uh, so one by one in this one i will try to elaborate much more functionalities so for example in this video i have shown how you can bind the data here okay in the next video i will remove this code and i will put the different logic here so i am not going to implement this one so if you want to implement you can apply your logic for example here this is my complete one right so here i have many things okay so based on my requirement i have implemented these all right so this is how i i can do that one so you can do from your side so if you want to add multiple functionalities you can do but uh, that is again based on your logic but what i am trying to tell you if you'll follow up so you'll get to much more things so you can include one by one where you want to place all these things right that's it for the video and uh, in the next video i will show the how you can sort a proper data so here we can see this is the proper data which is getting binded now so in the case where it will be unsorted i told in the previous video but uh, i forgot this one so i will uh, tell in the next video for the sorting data okay thank you so much for this video bye bye